Super quick update, last August, almost a year ago, I said I was working on an Affinity Designer for Zombies course to go along with my Adobe Illustrator for Zombies course. I finally got it done. Part of the reason it took me so long is because I had to actually learn how to use Affinity Designer. Anyway, I'm just gonna quick cut to that so you can watch it really quickly. It's a short little video clip that talks all about the course. Next Monday, I am gonna be doing 10 tips, maybe 11, maybe 12, we'll see. For people who are thinking about switching from Adobe Illustrator to Affinity Designer, so stay tuned for that. That. That's all I got for today. Enjoy the clip and I'll talk to you guys later. Have you ever wondered how to take something hand drawn, get it onto the computer, clean it up and make it look really slick and professional? Or maybe you're an experienced artist looking for a cheaper alternative to Adobe Illustrator. Guess what? You're in the right place. My name is Brad and this is my Affinity Designer Crash Course. What? Who's that? That is Zombie. He's one of my best students. And since my Adobe Illustrator for Zombies course is one of the highest rated Adobe Illustrator courses on Udemy, I thought it'd be fun to bring him along for another one. Now this course is project based. I'm not going to spend 13 hours going through every setting of every tool. I'm just going to be covering the things you need to know to be really good at Affinity Designer. We're going to be taking a tool, we're going to be learning it, then we're going to be applying it, we're going to be drawing things. That's how I learn, by doing. So that's how I teach. We learn about basic shapes by drawing some basic icons. We learn all about the gradients and the color picker by drawing a simple mailbox. And as we get more advanced, you get to learn how to draw a house. Then we add more detail. Then we turn that into a haunted house. It was his idea. I wasn't too sure at first, but it turned out pretty well. Now, a lot of this may seem intimidating at first, but if you break it down into small pieces and take it chunk by chunk, you can build on it and really learn how to use this application. All it takes is a little bit of practice and some know-how. I'm going to give you all of the files and all of the assets you're going to need to follow along and work with me. Even my Affinity Designer source files, so you can jump in yourself, poke around. I know I learn a lot just by looking at other people's art files. So my goal... Okay. Our goal is to make a course where you not only learn a lot, but you have a lot of fun doing it. So since you're here, check out some of the sample lessons down below, then make sure that you sign up so we can make your art better.